Hi guys, so I'm outside the Great British uh, shooting show. Uh, this is the third day, so it's Sunday the 25th, and the crowds are already building on the outside. The show opens up at nine o'clock. Been here, as I say, three days, uh, or this is my third day. Um, actually, I was just talking with Russ Douglas, um, who's been uploading videos every day. I've done something a little bit different. I've spent the last two days going around the show and just getting my head around all the different stands. Um, I've got appointments with quite a few people today, so I will be filming inside, and hopefully we'll see how we go. Hopefully I'll get some important gossip. Um, there's also some exciting stuff that I've come across, which I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about later on. Okay, so we'll see you inside. So before I show you the footage of the interview with Mr. Anschutz, I just wanted to apologise for the quality of the audio. Um, guys, listen, there were thousands of people at this venue and the background noise was very, very loud. It was hard to hear yourself think, let alone try to talk to an individual and hear what they're having to say. In case you didn't attend the show, here's a snippet of what it's like. For me, it's a real honour to be able to be presented to you, Mr. Anchors, because these are my dream ones. Because in all honesty, I've never been able to be seen this. I knew I was. Yeah, but tell me, what makes the Anchors so special? The wife is proud of it. Yeah. But I was thinking that you stopped flying here. Yeah. Um, you said I'm a young Angela from Germany, coming over to the shooting show. So, welcome on our booth here, on our distributor. Yeah. Um, we have our engine has a long history. I'm now in the fifth generation. My son entered the company uh, five years ago. So, it will be continued. And uh, we are first, the first um, information. We have uh, riding was 1866, so a long tradition. And um, yeah, going back to the air rifle section and, and yeah, mainly focusing on Olympic rifle sport. And we are looking for details, details in the trigger. We think we have the best technical air rifle program in the world. Um, our air rifles are very, very reliable. Because we are developing the details that it lasts long and uh, focusing on the uh, Chinese groups for the, for the Olympics of art. Yeah. It's very neat. Yeah. It's very neat. Spanish. So, realistic. I think they got the 9 0 one, yes. But what this thing and keep that through. What's gonna just pull that straight out? As our items are made to shoot on 10 meters, because it's the Olympic distance, that's 10 meters, and uh, the pressure is below 7.5 joule. That's all regulated by the yeah, Olympic Committee or the ICC. It's not in one topic and uh, federation and um, yeah. Yes, to keep on the rules to be in this all night competition site. And so, I'm assuming it's a It's a millet from millet from what's the other side. And it should be if you have a five or ten shot, that's 10 round shot shooting group, and you took the 11th card, then it should stick in the whole world. That's the way we are focused. And so you have a specific mate that I like the rise in the tickets. Do you work less than Patrick for something? Uh, no, we don't work with anybody, but uh, in our shooting range of course, we are testing, testing a lot. And on their average, I would say maybe, maybe 
Oh, we are very nice, but they have very good results from our, our things from the other players. Well, the Chinese are also good, then yeah, the key is this. It's yeah. really also what I mean, I would say. It's surprising because when we use well, when I use our digressors, uh, you know, all the digressors are mine and fuel, and they're all generally sucked up. They've never really performed that well. Back in the 80s and 90s, they were the top talent, and I probably knew much more than they were performing for the international meeting system. Yeah. But just lately, they seem not to be performing as good as, you know, there was maybe the they're on the other fields. So, do they have any particular So, it's a barrel suit, they're not particularly bad at that. Do you always recommend you do test spots? Do you know testing it? Yeah, um, you should be 100% sure, especially in the Olympic. Area, yeah, that your kind of your kind of sensitive to the life. So, yeah, also now we're shooting, um, panels we are using different, different, um, sizes, different manufacturers, but on the, on the, coming back on the average, so we're getting very good results. So, Chinese food or yeah, yeah. Moxie, because we cannot concentrate just on one, we have to find a way that uh, our barrel goes more and more manufactured. With, with the gas utilizers, is everything made for the middle of or the outsource as well? A high percentage, about 70 75 percent of all parts yes. which we are using for the air rifle have pattern in our facility in all. Yeah, we really keep off drilling for the barrel, the triggers, grinding, assembly, drilling. So this is the barrel you want for it. Oh, yes, oh, that, and what sort of the process is you using creating the barrel? This is uh, buck rifles. It's a bug rifle. It's a bug So, have you uh, kind of changed your designs recently, or have you found the designs that actually work for you, and now that's all set We are continuously doing little changes on the air rifle. Uh, the 1915, which came out a few years ago, the 1915 today, they are the inside changed. So we changed the pressure regulator, the lady, and also stabilized the system how it's working. We have changed in the last four years, three times. So we are continuously updating, trying to be better and better and better. So when do you actually use the test your rifles in order to make sure that you're getting the very best yeah. out? Where, where do you do the test? Also in the company. We have our own test facility. We can test uh, how the whole system is working together. So how many errors going through the pressure regulator or how the pressure regulator is operating, operating uh, the lovely time and the speed and also the shooting to test all people all so yeah. it's all about consistency it's all making sure that it's exactly the same for each minute so now what we do tolerances in regards to that do you have like a 9% tolerance or it has to be that's a very difficult question. Um, at the end, at the end, everything has to work out. It means um, speed has to be a very high uh, tolerance, but overall, shooting through at the end count. So it's the good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to be. Yeah, the pressure regulator work process and every shot all the time. Yeah, the amount of air is used for all the time. Each of you all the time. So, and that group, what would you say is acceptable in your test? If you have a 10 shot group yeah. and put the level uh, select in the zone, it should not force you. So that's really simple. <laughs>
so it's nice that's good to hear about everything's good to hear because i just i quite often when i test my eyes i test like this in small sort of 30 to 45 feet uh almost three way and i've found that so many people you know the right they just don't Departments, you know, they're, they're just not consistent. They're still spread out. The only one that really stood out to me in that photo, I'm sorry to use that, I'm sorry, but 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 I've struggled to find it in your eyes. So, I'm like, yeah, that would mean I'll just ever get my hands so I'm on it. Three. Three. So, we've spoken about the Olympics. Yes. Man. Said that we have a field call. We have also field time and throw to the numbers. And both here are based on the same system, but also we look at the small tower. So we see our field targets. And again, what sort of what sort of distance you test them out some and what sort of boot size you expect to So we we can test in our office up to one hundred meters. Nice. But uh field targets uh in basically yeah. And what would you expect them to be? Uh, I'll does it a little bit uh, bigger and uh, that we are only doing, doing 4.5 millimeters, so like 5.5 or, or higher. Um, we do, I don't even know if we say what the maximum size is, but it's a very be interesting. Sorry, I'm going to do the job. No, 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 it's fine, but it's something that I would like to try one day. So hopefully, but I just want to again, so I just say that would you like to lend me a rifle? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you very much, yeah. Seven by Dan Marshall. I'm assuming is it INX? Yes, big yeah. one. So yeah. very good business yeah. 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 Very busy concert in short box. I guess you're flying back there tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight I fly back and then two days a little bit warm and then on Wednesday yeah. for uh, WS. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much and uh, we're going to see you on the next one. Thank you, sir. That's been very well. Thank you. Thank you.